City head to Huddersfield Saturday with our hosts sat 17th in the championship table, five places and eight points above the drop zone. Last Saturday's defeat at the hands of Brighton marked their first league defeat in six matches and at home the Terriers haven't been defeated since the second weekend of December. That's a marked upturn in form under new manager David Wagner, who, since replacing Chris Powell in early November, has seen his side pick up 17 points and have practically doubled their cushion back to the relegation places. Form against those around them has been impressive also. January has so far seen a 5-0 thumping of Charlton, a comfortable 2-0 win over bottom club Bolton, plus a one all draw with Fulham, whilst December similarly saw them defeat both Rotherham and Preston. In fact, their record against teams in the bottom third of the table, six wins, three draws and just one loss, stands up against the best. For comparison, Cardiff have taken five points less from such games. Defensively, January has been a mixed bag for the Terriers though. They conceded just three times in their first four matches of the month, yet have shipped seven in their last two outings, albeit having played with ten men for periods of both the 5-2 Cup replay defeat to Reading and the aforementioned loss to Brighton. As such, a reacquaintance with Mark Hudson is off the cards for this weekend, with the former City captain having picked up his 10th yellow card of the season, and as such, now faces a two-match suspension. Tommy Smith will similarly be missing due to his red card last time out, though Jonathan Hogg will likely return from his own suspension to provide the reshuffled defence with some protection from in front. Going forward, Naki Wells again leads the line and the club scoring charts with 10 in all competitions, whilst the on loan pairing of Jamie Patterson and Emma Hughes have also impressively chipped in with five apiece from midfield. Head to head, City has six matches unbeaten against the Terriers, including a 2 0 win back at Cardiff City Stadium in September. However, we haven't won at Huddersfield since October 1989 and haven't scored at the John Smith Stadium since a Peter Thorne double in April 2002, with the last two meetings in Yorkshire both ending goalless. <laughs>